On today's motherfucking episode of Cooking with Showboat, we gonna be cooking some motherfucking Jamaican oxtails. These motherfuckers were so good last goddamn week, I gotta come back and try it again. If you follow these directions, you will not fail in cooking these oxtails to perfection. Because I cooked these oxtails once before, and what I found out, I didn't cook the wildness out of these motherfuckers. And I got a little sick. I got that my stomach started hurting. So you need to pay very close attention when you're cooking oxtails. Because if you don't like that wild meat game taste, these ain't the things for you. But I'm going to show you how to get these motherfuckers right. Now prep time for these motherfuckers is about 15 minutes. When you're cooking these oxtails, it's going to be like three, three and a half hours, four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with about three pounds of oxtails. That's what they call for, but I'm putting four or five in that motherfucker because I like to eat. Now for the vegetables to go in this shit, you got carrots, garlic, celery. The fuck is that shit? Rosemary and thyme. Now I don't know what the fuck a sprig of rosemary is, but I'm putting this rosemary in this motherfucking shit. Now for my preference, I'm using two motherfucking turnips. You can use potatoes. You ain't got to use turnips. You don't like turnips? Yeah, I don't like turnips in my stuff. I don't like turnips. I only like turnips in my greens. Man, fuck that shit. If you don't like them, don't put them in there. Now, I don't know what difference it's going to make, but the motherfucker said add one bay leaf. This is a bay leaf. Motherfucker going in. Now, just just then, we ain't calling these motherfuckers Jamaican oxtails. You shut up. They just going to be called Showboat's motherfucking oxtails because I ain't got no goddamn butter beans and I ain't got no motherfucking scotch bonnet peppers either, nigga. Now, for those of y'all that like that spicy Jamaican taste, like I said, these are showboats, oxtails. We're not going to do Jamaican. If you want them spicy, you can put some curry powder in it and a lot of cayenne. But me, I don't like my asshole to burn when I'm taking the shit. So, no, we're not doing that today. Now, once all this shit is prepared, this is what it's going to look like, man. You're going to mix all this shit up, and we're going to get over here to the stove, and we're going to saute it. Now, before we get to these motherfucking vegetables, these oxtails, they need to be washed, and they need to be seasoned with salt and pepper. Now, for the motherfucking life of me, I don't know who the fuck they think they talking to talking about one motherfucking tablespoon of pepper and one tablespoon of salt. Nigga, put as much salt and pepper on these bitches as you like. You got to eat them. Now, here's a little trick that I learned, and this shit is going to make these motherfuckers very savory. This shit right here is my specially made marinade. And they're going to the ingredients. Now, I can tell y'all this. I ain't finna tell you what I put in my marinade. Y'all saw the motherfucking ingredients. Y'all figure this shit out. If you got any idea how to fucking cook or burn on the stove, Nigga, make your own goddamn marinade. It's very important to sear your meat that locks in the flavor when you get ready to slow cook these motherfuckers. So what I did, I got some olive oil, regular ass olive oil, and put it in a saucepan and put it on high. And you want to sear each side of these motherfucking oxtails. Each side, three to five minutes until they're brown. Guess what, bitches? Three to five minutes is up. Now we're going to take them oxtails out, as you can see. I took them out and I put them back in another saucepan because now it's time to get these vegetables cracking. What we're going to do is we're going to pour these vegetables in the same motherfucking oxtail juice and we're going to let them bitches saute three to five minutes or until you think you like them. This, my friends, is what the beginning of perfection looks like. You under D? Yeah. And guess what? The nigga drinking that tea. Needed a bigger pot. I forgot. I got more than three pounds of oxtails, nigga. So we put them vegetables in a big ass pot because next we're going to add. You ain't going to believe this shit, nigga. You ain't going to believe this shit. Stay tuned, nigga. Stay tuned. But first, a word from our sponsors. This is how I get down. He wanted the Xbox because that's easy. If you got some bad fucking kids, inbox showboat. And I'll tell you how to get them motherfuckers straight. Welcome back, motherfuckers. Welcome back. So guess what I found out during that little break? I found out what a sprig of rosemary was. This shit smell like weed, nigga. Drop that shit in this cup right here. I'll tell you what's in the cup later. Then we got some motherfucking thyme. That's what they told me it's called thyme. But I say thyme because it got an H in it. You drop that shit in the cup too, nigga. Now, guess what's in that goddamn cup? Guess what's in that cup? Beef broth, nigga. Beef motherfucking broth. And you're going to add that shit to these motherfucking vegetables. Just like that. Let it come to a motherfucking boil, bitches. <laughs> now, like I told y'all earlier, we got these punk-ass turnips. You don't got to add turnips if you don't want to. Add potatoes. Add whatever you want. But don't forget this special 
Motherfucking bay leaf, bitch. Don't forget the motherfucking bay leaf. Now, just for my preface, I ain't gonna add too many of these motherfucking turnips. We just gonna put them in there like that, bam. Matter of fact, you know, I'm gonna add a little more turnips. I'm gonna add a little bit more turnips. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, man. This is what this shit's supposed to look like before you get ready to put them oxtails. And what I told y'all about that motherfucking bay leaf. Don't forget the bay leaf. Boop, it's in there, bitch. Now after that shit came to a motherfucking boy, you're gonna go back and you're gonna add the oxtails. The oxtails in there, reduce to medium heat, and you're gonna let cook for about three hours or until tender or until you like this shit, nigga. Now, if you were hungry than a motherfucker like me, you're gonna put them bitches on high and let it do what it do, nigga. <laughs> Here's a very important part, too. If you don't like that wild, gamey meat taste, Add a little bit of vinegar, nigga. Just put a little vinegar in it, about a cap full, and let that shit boil. Now, one hour into cooking, the shit recommends that you put one cup of red wine into your oxtails. You add one cup of red wine, and then you reduce to medium heat again, and you let that shit simmer. Now, one hour into cooking, that red wine that I added gives that food that extra flavor that you're gonna be needing. Now, reduce back the medium heat on high if you're hungry than a motherfucker. Keep an eye on your oxtails because if the juice runs low, you want to keep your oxtails submerged. So you want to add a little bit more beef broth or beef stock, whichever one you chose. Just keep them oxtails submerged so you get that juicy, tender fucking taste when them motherfuckers come out there and get them hot. Now, I'm pretty sure you motherfuckers don't need instructions on how to book and fix your goddamn plate. But here we go right here. We got the macaroni and cheese made by wifey. You got this motherfucking buttery-ass motherfucking rice and these goddamn oxtails, man. So we're going to dig in, man, and, and see what it's talking about. Mm. Mm. This has been another motherfucking episode of Cooking with Showboat. Oxtail edition, nigga. Tune in for more recipes, bitches. Yeah.